Hi, this is Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. Let's talk about creating a print page button on your website. You may have seen those when you visited other websites. Sometimes if you'll pay a bill online or do some banking, the website gives you an option to print that page out kind of like as a receipt or a reference. Well, you can do that as well, but before you do, you need to be kind of mindful of the kind of page that you're allowing your visitor to print. You need to be thoughtful of their printer, frankly. So for example, the page that we're looking at here would be a rough page to print. There's a lot of dark colors and images and background that would use a lot of toner and ink. And there's just a lot of stuff they wouldn't need necessarily on a page. And the text is white. So what you want to do is you, when you offer your visitor the ability to print a page, you want to either take them to a print-friendly page first, or just make sure that whatever page they're on, where the print button appears, it's going to be a, an easy page for them to print. So what I've done here is I've taken this same kind of website and made a print-friendly version of it. So as you can see, this would be a little better page for your visitor to print out because it's mostly text. There's a white background, the text is black. And you know, so I have a few images. I'd wanna be careful with having too many images, but let's say I really wanted them to have this image to be able to print everything on the page here I want them to print. But the point is you wanna think about that and think about the hardship that's gonna be sort of on their printer. Everybody has different printers. Some people have lasers and some people will have inkjet, etc. Anyway, I think you get the idea that you want to think about the page. Don't just give them a print button on every page. So once you've decided the page you want them to be able to print, it's easy to make a print button. But I'm going to show you how to do it here. The way I like to do it is with a jQuery tool called the jQuery button. Now before I do this, you should know that you don't have to use the jQuery button to make your print button. You can actually do it with any image. I'd recommend you use an image that says, you know, click here to print or print this page or whatever you're gonna say. So you wanna make sure the image makes sense that they'll know that if they click on it, they'll print the page. But I like to use the jQuery button. Again, you can use any image and we'll do the same thing. But here's how we're gonna do it. I take the jQuery button and let's say I wanna put my print button down here. So here's my button, I'm gonna double click on it. And like with anything in 90 second, I can adjust what it looks like. Let's say, print this page. That's what will show on the button, so it'll be obvious what it does. And let's pick a style that's going to be, you know, kind of printer friendly, maybe kind of a, a black and white look. Here's a good one, kind of a grayish button. So here's my button, it says print this page. And so now how do we get it programmed, so to speak, to print the page? Well, it's very, very easy. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna to go to the tab called events and we're gonna associate an event with this button. And again, you can do this with an image. It doesn't have to be the jQuery button. This events tab also shows up in the properties of an image. Okay, so I'm gonna click events and I'm gonna add, I'm going to add a new event. Here's what happens. First, I have to decide what the event's gonna be. In other words, I want something to happen when they click on the button. So I'm going to choose the on click event. Okay, there's several other mouse down, mouse over, but I want something to happen when they click this button. So I'm choosing on click and then the action that I want to have happen will be over here. So with events, I can make it show a particular object, hide a particular object, I can make it do all kinds of things. But for printing a page, that's part of the built in system. So to do that, we need to use a JavaScript function. So I'm going to click JavaScript function. So, so far, all I've done is I've programmed this button to perform a JavaScript function when it's clicked on. But which JavaScript function will it perform? Well, that's easy because they're all down here. And there's one called window print. And believe it or not, that's all you do. Okay, I've just did three things and I did some programming basically, or at least 90 Second Website Builder will do it for me as soon as I click OK. And when I do, I've just told the button, when you're clicked, print this window and that's it. So there's my event, I'll click okay, and I'm literally done. So I've just created a button that prints this page. If we preview, I'm clicking F5 to preview my work. You'll see, here's my page now, and here's my button, my nice jQuery button, it has a little hover. I'll click this and here comes my printer menu. I happen to have this kind of a printer, so I'd be able to print this page by clicking okay. It's that simple to make a print page button, use the jQuery button or an image, double click and just create an event. Nice and easy.